Today, we are going to be buying one of every Easter-themed fidget and Squishmallow that Learning Express sells. And I am so beyond excited, you guys. I have my pastel blue shirt on, and I also have some Eastery nails as well because I am just in the spirit today. And I thought, what better way to feel even more in the spirit than to go into Learning Express to do this shopping challenge with you guys. Ah! I also just had some Starbucks coffee. I wish I could snap my fingers and it would magically just refill because, girl, that was some good caramelized coffee. Just saying. So usually when I fidget hunt, I don't include Squishmallows, but today this is a Squishmallow and fidget shopping spree, and I'm going to get all of it as long as it's Easter themed. So I literally cannot wait because I was at this store last week around this time, and they had everything fully restocked. Like there were so many things out for spring and Easter. But before we go inside, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I want to see if you guys can like, click, subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you're ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below five chick emojis and five Easter bunny emojis, okay? And then also for a double challenge, comment below and let me know what your favorite type of Easter candy is because I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But without further ado, we are going to go inside right now to buy all of the Easter fidgets and squishmallows that Learning Express sells and I hope that you guys will enjoy watching. So let's go inside. <laughs> It's actually like 40 degrees. I'm dressed like it's summer. Okay guys, so I just got into the store and there are already so many Easter fidgets. So these are called bouncing egg balls. Ooh, okay, I've never seen anything like this before. I thought it was putty at first or something squishy, but apparently these bounce just like bouncy balls. I am so tempted to try this out right now. It's so interesting because it's in the shape of an egg and it bounces just like a bouncy ball. So I think we're gonna pick out this one right here. And then they also have these squishy light up bunnies. These are so fun. I have a pink one at home, but it looks like they have yellow, orange, purple, and white. I'm thinking we should go with the white one just because it's so classic and it's also adorable. So. It'll give my pink one some company. He is going to hop into the basket. Okay, so then right behind that, we have these little 3D poppets. These are slowly becoming one of my very favorite fidgets because all you do is you press the bubble in the front and the back, and then you squeeze it, and then they both pop out. It is so satisfying. These kind of look different from each other. So this one has more yellow, this one has more blue, and then this one is a nice mix. So I think we're gonna do this one. So adorable. Look guys, we've literally been here for less than five minutes and we already found so many Easter fidgets. They've got these little wind up chicks. <gasps> okay, I literally need one of these. How fun is this? Oh my goodness. Now, do you guys think that this should be considered a fidget toy or not? Honestly, I'm really on the fence. I might make a TikTok and ask TikTok because in a way you do wind it up. So that's sort of fidgeting with it. But either way, let's wind it up and watch it walk around. Two seconds later. Okay, I need to get this. Even if it's not considered a fidget, you guys let me know what you think. I need to bring this home with me. So adorable. Yes, the thing that I have been most excited to snatch. All right, this is a stretchy carrot fidget. And okay, first of all, I'm obsessed with the way it's packaged. Look at the little curly Q ribbon. It makes it look extra adorable. So obviously, Easter bunnies and carrots go hand in hand. So we are going to be adding this to the basket. And then how cute is this s'more poppet? Honestly, at five below, I found a s'more Squishmallow and I bought one yesterday. So now I kind of feel like I need a poppet to match. Very tempted, but it's not really Easter themed. So I'm going to pass on it for now. They have a ton of these 3D bunny purse poppets. They come in all different colors, so you guys will have to let me know which one is your favorite. They have a pink and white. They have, oh, this one's really pretty. These are actually three of my favorite colors, purple, blue, and pink. And then they 
also have this one with the green, blue, and white. So I think I have to go with this one. So cute. It has a little flower in the ear. Oh my goodness. They have even more things on the back display over here. I saw these last time and I could not wait to finally buy one. The last time I was here, I was doing color shopping challenges. So I couldn't get these because I was shopping for green and orange and obviously none of these are green and orange but this time I'm going to get one of every color okay so let me know which one is your favorite we have pink yellow we have another yellow this one is more of a bright yellow and this is a pastel yellow and then this ooh, this is like a super pretty light blue slash purple it's like indigo it's kind of in between it's like a pastel indigo and I feel like you don't see this color very often, especially in fidgets. Let me know which one is your favorite. I think mine has got to be hmm, probably the pastel yellow. It's such a happy color. So we are going to get all of these. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so you know how obsessed I am with the little wind-up chick. Okay, well, I just found a wind-up bunny. It is so adorable. Look at his feet. Too cute. Okay, which one should we get? I think we're gonna adopt this one. There we go. Now the chick has a little friend. Let's see how adorable they look together. <gasps> okay guys, comment below. Are you team chick or team bunny? Okay, so these are brand new. They definitely did not have these last time. Yeah, definitely didn't have these last time. They are, I think these may light up. Let's see, yep. They're little light up fidget chicks. They come in so many different colors and these are very neon, which is exciting. So, let's see, should we get one of each or should we just choose one? I think we're going to do one of each because, I mean, I did call this video buying one of every Easter fidget. So that means we got to go all the way, okay? We're going hardcore. So this is like a coral. It's like a neon coral. And we have neon yellow. This reminds me of a highlighter. Super bright neon pink which is probably my favorite it's really pretty orange and then is this the last one i think so yes neon green and then we'll leave the rest of them in there so i'm pretty sure i found all the easter fidgets on this side so now we're gonna oh my goodness you guys <gasps> look at all of the new squishmallows what I am surrounded, literally surrounded by new Squishmallows right now. This is like a dream. Just look at this. What? Oh my gosh. I just want to make a giant pile and jump in them. Honestly, that would be so much fun. Um, but okay, obviously I can't fit all of these in my basket. So we'll have to get a second basket. Or maybe I'll have to be a bit more selective with the Squishmallows because there's more than I thought there would be. Wow, okay, look at this little chick. I love its belly. Look, it's all sparkly. I'm obsessed. And then this cotton candy bunny with the eyelashes. They have a little unicorn and it looks like it's popping out of an Easter egg, which is really creative. This little floppy eared bunny. I actually have this chick at home. I got this last year. And I believe I remember seeing this bunny out and about last year, but I just never got him. I want to see what his name is. Honestly, super curious. Valentina. Ooh. And then they have these medium-sized ones over here. <gasps> I think my favorite so far is the cotton candy bunny. So guys, comment below which one is your favorite. We're going to come back to these, okay? I'm going to have to think about it for a second. But let's do fidgets first. So they have this huge section over here with a ton of easter themed fidgets honestly like i am mind blown i saw these last week and i couldn't believe it okay so they have this adorable chick poppet like how cute is that <gasps> okay and then also they have this little bunny i feel like typically i would like the chick fidgets more but in this case i like the bunny because just look at it. It is adorable. I'm gonna add those to the basket. Okay, these are called sticky bubble blobby bunnies. I think my favorite one from the pack is definitely pink. 
but they all go together we are getting those as well oh my gosh look at our basket already it's totally gonna be full to the top by the end of this video and then they also have these bunny snappers so this is pastel yellow and then there is pastel blue I'm actually gonna line these up so you guys can see them. This is more satisfying that way. And then this is kind of like a turquoise slash mint green. We already got a yellow. We already got a blue. I see more colors back there, so we're not done yet. Here's purple. And then there's this really pretty orange. This reminds me of orange sherbet. And then one more. It's hiding back there. It's pink. Definitely not pass that one out look at this you guys i am obsessed we're getting all of them but if you could only choose one let me know which color you would go with i would probably go with blue or pink because those are my two most favorite colors and then the last thing that we have to get over in this section that's easter themed are these right here. Wait, I need to squeeze it because I am so curious to see what the texture's like. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I thought that these would have a foam texture to them, but these actually feel a lot like Neato's. If you guys have ever had a Neato stress ball before, that is exactly what these bunnies feel like. So we're gonna get these in every color. We've got pink, blue, and purple. Now we're gonna look over here on this side. Oh, wait. Okay, so I thought they only had those two Easter poppets, the chick and the bunny, but I just found this rainbow bunny as well. Well, I guess it's more of a pastel rainbow. See, matches my nails, and my nails are pastel themed right now for Easter. I definitely have to buy this and then take a picture of me holding it with my nails because, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of obsessed. And then, okay, so they have these mini bunny peeps poppets as well. Each one of these has six little bubble pops. I just think these look so sweet. Like, look at the little faces. So we're gonna get pink. We're going to get orange, yellow, purple, blue. I think they also have a mint green one. Yes, I knew it. Okay. See, it was hiding behind those other poppets. Glad I moved them around. Wow. We got all the Easter fidgets from both sides. I'm going to look around a little bit more to see if we missed anything, but I think the majority of the new releases were in the front display and then these little side displays, but still we're just going to double check. All right, there's a unicorn and a video game controller. I have both and they are not Easter themed. So, okay. Then they have some mini poppets. Once again, though, not Easter. I want to get this more so badly, you guys. It is killing me, but we'll have to wait to get this another time. It's okay, I'm sure it'll still be here, but maybe not because it's so cute. They have this huge Neato display. They don't have any Easter things over here, but I did just wanna double check. I think I am going to get another Atomic Neato today because fun fact, it's one of my very favorite fidgets. And um, the one I have, I don't think it's here, but it's like blue outside and then pink in the inside. I wanna get all the different colors, but okay. So nothing to see here. Let's check over here with the PBJs. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm not sure if they have any Easter themed ones, but they got so many new ones since the last time I was in here and it makes me so excited. What do you guys think about getting a frog? Is that cheating or do you think that it can be classified as an Easter fidget? I guess when I think of frogs, I think of spring more than Easter. So I guess unless it's a bunny or a chick, we're not going to get it. Ooh, a bumblebee okay maybe i should come back and do a spring themed fidget shopping challenge here because they have so many that would be perfect for spring and look even more squishmallows wait are these squishmallows yeah oh my god i thought they were beanie boos at first there is just so many this is adorable it's like a little love bug so okay we're gonna check over here for easter themed things but if we don't find anything then we're going to switch gears and do squishmallow hunting easter squishmallows all right so here is the display by checkout let's see there's some snappers here's my lip zest. these are christmas ones but hey i always say i could easily celebrate christmas all year round so make sure you come to the learning express in wexford pa to snatch 
All right, these are new. These are pop it rings. Okay, super fun, but no Easter fidgets. That's okay. We have a whole basket full. I just had the best idea ever. Okay, so every time I come into the store, I see these shimmery stress balls that are wrapped up all cute. And the first thing that I think of are dying Easter eggs because look at them. Do these not look like Easter eggs? When I dye Easter eggs, I always get this pearl dye and they end up looking exactly like these stress balls. Oh, I see a pink. Look how pretty, oh my goodness. So what do you guys think? Honestly, it's not even up for debate. I think they look just like Easter eggs and I'm going to get all of these. And once again, everything keeps matching my nails so perfectly in this video. Like I am living for the aesthetics of this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put them away in rainbow order. So pretty. Okay, so guys, before I end this and count up how many things we found, it just occurred to me that I did not even look to see if they had any Easter slimes, all right? So let's start over here and um, hopefully we will be able to find some. All right, Frosty the Snowman, obviously that's winter. Bubblegum ice cream, that's summer to me. Love Crush, Valentine's Day. Green apple shaved ice, that's definitely summer. Texas Roadhouse Rolls, that's really any time, but it's certainly not specifically Easter themed. Okay, what's this? Rainbow Frost, that is so beautiful. Carrot Cake Ice Cream, okay. This is hands down an Easter themed slime. Carrot Cake, are you kidding me? Okay, we are adding that to the basket immediately. Oh my gosh, Peeps Mashup Memory Dough. <gasps> okay guys, it is literally taking everything inside of me right now to not start jumping up and down and screaming like a child over these because I am so excited. Robin egg frost. This is so pretty. Rainbow frost. I think this might be out for Easter because it's with like Easter slimes and look at the colors. Reminds me of dying Easter eggs once again. So we're going to add that and then we would have gotten all of them. Wait, what's this? Um, Easter slime trio pack. What? And I was about to not even look at this. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Easter sherbet, um, egg hunt jelly, and love bunny. Guys, look at this basket. I cannot believe how many things we found. But this is just one basket. Remember, this was fidget and a squishmallow shopping today. So we're going to put this over here. And now... We're also going to pick out some Squishmallows. Maybe not one of each because that's kind of a lot. We want to save some for other people, but we're going to look at them and pick out our favorites. Maybe we'll do one of each size, okay? So for the big one, I think we're going to go with the cotton candy colored bunny. And look, it's going to take up all the space. <laughs> we're really going to have to quite literally squish them together. I guess that's how they get their name. Now for these medium sized ones, which one should we adopt? We already have a chick. This bunny looks like, it just looks too animated to me, if that makes sense. I like when they're a bit more simple. That's just my style. I love this little gray floppy eared bunny. He is so adorable. I think we're gonna have to go with him. We have a little bunny fam right now. I feel like we have to keep the theme. All right, and now these little ones. These are actually birthday themed. So I know I saw other Easter Squishmallows. Yep, right over here. Oh my gosh, at first I thought these were PBJs, but nope, they're little baby mini Squishmallows and they are the cutest. Now half of me is tempted to get one of each of these little ones. That might be even more satisfying. Like how cool would that be? Look at this little gnome. That is too funny. Okay, so they got the chick. This is so tough. I love this little rainbow bunny as well. It's just so vibrant and sweet. So maybe we should get this one. Okay, and then one more. So let's pick out one of these tiny bunnies. They have three different options for this size. They've got rainbow. They've got, this looks like just classic Peter Cottontail, except purple. And then they have this one, this pink one. And I think we're gonna have to go with the pink one because look at its stomach. It looks like an Easter egg. And I think that is so adorable. So look at that. 
you've got a little bunny fam. I have never seen anything cuter in my life. This is the final result and I am obsessed, okay? I think I'm even more obsessed with our Squishmallow selections because who didn't know bunnies are actually one of my favorite animals and I didn't have any bunny fidgets prior to filming this video. So the fact that we have four now in different sizes and colors it's just so exciting, okay? So we have the cotton candy one. It's like the cotton candy cloud bunny. We have the rainbow one, gray floppy-eared one, and then the little baby. I want to know this one's name. Honestly, I'm really curious. So this is Bop. <laughs> That's so cute. So we've got those Squishmallows that I am so excited to adopt. And now we have to go through a haul of these Easter finds. Well, since we actually already looked at them together while we were shopping, let's count them, okay? I want you guys to comment below, pause the video right now, comment below how many you think we found all together. I'm gonna take a guess too. So Squishmallows included. So between both of these baskets, I'm gonna guess 54, but let's find out right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, oh my goodness, 50. Now, if I would have counted these slimes individually, it would have been 51, 52. It would have literally been like pretty much my exact guess. That would have been crazy. Wow. Okay, so just look at this beautiful mess right here. Guys, I am obsessed. This is honestly probably one of the most successful Learning Express shopping sprees that I've ever gone on in the history of my channel. So guys, I just got back inside of my car and oh my gosh, I am so incredibly happy with everything that we found today inside of Learning Express. Honestly, I didn't think we would find as many things as we did. So you can definitely stay tuned for a humongous haul, like humongous. That is the biggest bag I've ever gotten from Learning Express ever in my life. I am just as shook as you guys. I am so genuinely excited to just go through everything and test them out. But yes, make sure your post notifications are turned on for my channel. That way you're notified whenever I post the haul. It is going to be super long and super fun because we're going to be testing out all of these brand new fidgets together, including the slime. Ah! I just realized not only did we find fidgets and squishmallows, but also they had so many Easter slimes. So it was a fidget slime and squishmallow shopping spree. Literally, could you think of anything better? Because I can't. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go now. So if you guys liked watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I love you all to the moon and back, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.